Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to replace the rear wheel bearings in your Prime Attica disc rear wheel. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. Right, so here we have the rear wheel, as you can see. Now, first thing we need to do to gain access to the wheel bearings, obviously like you see here I've got the cassette removed already and the disc rotor removed. So to do that all you need is your cassette lock ring tool and a chain whip to hold the cassette in place while you're undoing it and the same cassette lock ring tool to remove your centre lock disc. So then what you need to do after you've done that, you need a couple of 17mm spanners and the flats on there, you basically put one on this side like that and then locate one on the opposite side like so and then anti-clockwise you just undo this side whilst holding on to the disc side just undo that like that so once it's undone then you can just unthread the disc side so the left hand side the end cap off the end there, like that. Once you remove that, then all you've got to do is pull the assembly out, the axle with the freer body on it. You pull that right out of the wheel, like that. And then you'll be able to see the wheel bearing in this side, the drive side, the cassette side, and the same on the disc side. If you want to know how to replace the bearings in the actual freer body, if yours are bad, then I'll just put a link up on the screen for that. So let's go ahead, let's go on to the next step. Right now we can see the bearings in either side. Now in between the bearings in there there's a space of collar in between. So what you need to do is move that to one side to start with. Don't put anything metal in there and try and push it to one side because if you put a, a scratch or a mark on that spacer then because the axle is a good fit if you damage it in any way when you're trying to put the axle through it'll interfere with that so you don't want to just go and hit it or anything like that with anything metal so what your best way to move it you might be able to move it with your finger by putting it in there and just pushing on it but you probably won't you can try it so if you get your plastic end of a screwdriver a small one like that and then if you just put that in there and then just move to one side so if you just push it to one side like that then it off centers the the spacer in the middle so if you push it right to one side as far as you can you'll see that it's slightly off center in there so that means we can get to when you look down in there you'll see the edge of the bearing down in there you see that that's what you need to be able to see so I'll go ahead and just show you how to remove that. Right, so what I've got is a punch and a small hammer. Now, because we move the collar spacer in between over to one side, what you want to do is rest your punch down until you're resting on the bearing in the bottom. So effectively hitting it on the inner race in the bottom there. So if you find that like that, then just give it a tap. And then what you want to do is move the collar over so as it's on the, now on the opposite side. And then do the same thing again. You can put that punch down in there, locate the edge of the bearing. Give it a couple of taps. And now once you've done that, the spacer in between is loose. So it just moves around easily in there. So now you can continue just locating the inner lip of the bearing and hit it out. Don't hit it all at one in one go. Hit it one side, couple of taps, then move across the opposite side. Just do it a crisscross pattern so the bearing's coming out straight. Obviously, we're on a hard surface here with a block of wood like that. You can do it in a voice if you've got a voice to use, but it's easy enough just to do it on the floor of the block of wood. You don't need any special tools to do it. 
So we just go ahead and then just carry on and tap that one out. And as you see, there's the spacer in between, the aluminium spacer. And there's the bear in there. So that was obviously out of the disc side. So now what we do, we turn it over like that. So the effectively the disc side is pointing up so you can remove what would be the free up side. And now you can look down inside there and you'll easily be able to see the bearing because there's no collar to worry about. So you can just do the same again. Put that down inside like that. And then same process. Just keep tapping it crisscross until it comes out. So just lift the wheel up now. Now you see the bearing there out of the free hub side. So now you've got an empty hub. So what we want to do now is just clean round in there where the bearings are going to go. Make sure it's got any dirt or old grease out. And then we're ready to install a couple of new bearings. Right so when you've got the hub cleaned up inside what you want to do is get some grease and just put round where the bearings going to sit. So if you put a smear of that round in there. And if you do that on both sides just spin it over and do the disc side as well. So just some grease there. And then we'll put the wheel back down on the block of wood with the free hub side facing up. And then we get the bearing. So what you want to do is get yourself a couple of quality bearings. Don't buy any cheap ones because you're wasting your money. They just don't last five minutes. Because with that, we'll just put a smear of grease around the outside of it. And we'll put some grease on the seal that's going to go down inside what you don't see. Just help keep any moisture out of the bearing in the future. So that's on the side you don't see. So that's going to go down inside the hub. Then we just drop it in place. And just sit it like that. So once you've done that, then what you can do is to put the bearing in. If you get yourself, you can either use a three quarter socket or a 19 millimeter. If you haven't got a three quarter, then you can use a 19 millimeter socket. So what we do is we'll just put that over the bearing like that and what I mean by that is that the socket is the same size as the bearing and you so see you're hitting on the outer race of the bearing you never hit where the seal is of the bearing so the coloured seal the black seal like in this case because if you hit there you'll damage the bearing before you've even put it in so like I say it's the same size like that so therefore you just hold it over to get it started like that and then you just tap it in and make sure it's going in square you're not hitting it in crooked so we just tap that and if you find that a short socket like that doesn't work for you for instance then all you've got to do is get yourself a deep drive like that and you can use that same thing just put it over like that and then tap it in right so there's a bearing put in the free hub side so what I'll do now is lay it down with the disc side facing up 
and then what you want to do is get your spacer that was in the middle I'll just put a bit of grease on the bottom of it there just help stick it in place down in the bottom there so just let that in to where it's going to rest on the bearing that you've just put in so once you've got it rested in there what you can do is just check that it is actually in line with the bearing that you've just put in so you can see straight through it's not offset at all so like I said once you've got that in get your bearing and we'll do the same on this side we'll just put a bit of grease around the outside of it and again over the seal that you don't see on the inside coat that like that then we we'll lower it in position like that and the same thing applies to this side what you want to do is hit it in with your socket again making sure that it's going in square so we'll just get it started like that Just carry on tapping it in. So we have the bearing installed in the disc side. So ready to redo the axle. Right, so before we reinstall the axle, just make sure you've got some grease on the on the poles on the free hub. Make sure they're all working as they should. Then what we're going to do is just put some grease over the axle itself, like that, and then make sure that your spacer in the middle is lined up perfectly with the bearings. And then we just put a bit of grease inside there, in the in the uh, spacer collar in, in the middle of the bearings. And what we'll do is we'll slide that back through. If it's not perfectly lined up, then you won't be able to get it through. So just use a little screwdriver again with the handle end and just make sure that it's lined up before you push it through. So if you've got it lined up anyway, it should just go straight in. And then engage your pulls, your free hub like that again. So that's that in. Then all we need to do now is put the nut back on. So all I need to do is just put a bit of grease over the face of the bearing down there. Before we put that on, just put a little bit of grease on the thread there as well. Then we we'll just screw the cap back on. All the way until it stops by hand and then if you get your two spanners again your two uh, 17 millimeters I say if you just hold the, the free up side and then just nip up the left hand side with your spanner I'll just nip that up a little bit you don't have to over tighten it just nip it down and then once you've done that, just make sure that your wheel spins as it should. And that's the bearings installed. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.